My name is Audrey Estep. I'm finishing my prereqs for a bachelor program for applied management. My journey has been, I would say, a rough one. I dropped out of school in like seventh grade, pretty much, and then went to an alternative school. You know, I had problems at home. I had an alcoholic mother. I witnessed a lot of abuse, like domestic violence, um, for sure. I would be at school and I would be worried about my mom. So I would, like in seventh grade, I literally, I walked home from school to go check on my mom. Like it was like that. It was like, I had to check and see if she was okay. I saw a lot of physical uh, violence um, and it made me violent. So like at school, I got in fights and, um, you know, I was kicked out of alternative school twice. And like at 16, I, I left school entirely um, and I got my GED and um, by then I was like drinking and um, by 17 I was like doing drugs uh, and and then by 18, 19 I was in trouble with the law and I went to jail a few times. Long story short, I have uh, been like battling um, addiction and mental illness like for most of my life you know I've been on several different medications like I tried everything like I battled forever I'm 39 now and I have finally um, you know I've gotten five years clean now like every time I would uh, try to you know start college I would my mental illness would take hold or like I would feel like I didn't fit in and um, tell you know I would I would like share too much with people and then alienate myself and then I would feel weird coming and then I didn't so I would drop out of school I've I've like dropped out probably three times before and so the fourth attempt was this time and I surprised myself when I first started I didn't think I was even going to make it the two years I wasn't even sure that I was going to be able to make it the whole time um but I surprised myself and I found out that I was teachable and I actually got really good grades and I made the Dean's List like several times. I was getting like 4.0s and 3.8s a couple times. Student government was life-changing for me, honestly it was. I chaired the, the weekly finance meetings and I got to interact with students and I got to feel like very important and I needed that. Like I so needed that to feel like you know, if I didn't show up, like there was gonna be a missing person. Like I needed to feel connected and I needed a purpose. And I so got that from, from student government. It like really changed my life. People might think that if, if they're older or, you know, cause I'm 39, they might think that if they're older, they can't be a part of student government because it's like, you know, mostly like people in their early 20s, but that's not really true because here I am and I was VP of finance and I made all kinds of connections and I didn't have to be 20 years old to do it. And I really learned. I like so learned. I learned so much that my 16 year old son, he's in running start here at the college. And that's because of, that's because of the people at this college. And I'm so glad that I, that I'm doing this because my kids, they care more about school now than, than they would have if I wasn't going to school too. He's actually part of this thing, um, this teen clinic thing. He facilitates meetings for teen clinic. Like, and I feel like I have something to do with that because I was always talking about like facilitating meetings and like, oh, I have to be at this council. And it's like, I was doing everything that I could. And I feel like that rubbed off on my kids and I'm really proud of that like real proud of that and him, them. People need to know that, that it really, really is possible. Like it's, it's really possible to become a completely different person than what you were. I have grown into this other person that I'm really, really proud of, really proud of. It's been a long journey, but it's totally possible to become someone entirely different and better. <laughs>